Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living b -b 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 battling boxer boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, who remembers that old, what was it, Asian? It wasn't Asian Persuasion, your Yu Gi Oh! channel video where the guy's like, bing, 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 because we got battling boxer support. <laughs> and if you all remember that video, you're a true OG. So this battling boxer support, some of it at least, is actually kind of good. Also, why your organization? I'm going to have to start running an ad block on your website. You got way too much shit on the screen here. I feel like I'm looking at a website from 2005. Anyway, <laughs> so this here is Battle and Boxer Uppercutter, level 4 Fire Warrior Effect Monster, 1600 attack, 200 defense, so it instantly screams a rekindling target because of the 200 defense. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one battle and boxer monster or one counter counter trap from your deck to your hand except battle and boxer uppercut or try saying that 10 times fast if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect you can activate one of these effects special summon one battle and boxer monster from your graveyard except uppercut or set one counter counter trap from your grave now the current list of counter counter traps jesus christ are assault counter flame bell counter gemini counter 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 which can negate a counter trap because that's so broken <laughs> unless you have the wrong printing where it doesn't have the fucking symbol uh jolt counter last counter and then the one that they're getting in this set here battle and boxer cross counter so we have a uh, battle and boxer chief second level four wa fire warrior effect monster 500 attack 2000 defense you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn when opponent's monster declares an attack and you control fire and or warrior monster you can special summon this card from your hand and if you do negate the attack then banish one monster on the field to the end phase yeah that effect just really sucks ass during your main phase you can normal summon one battle and boxer monster in addition to your normal summoner set you only gain this effect once a turn so this card is an instant rank four exceed uh you just drop this out and then gain the additional normal summon assuming that the opponent doesn't imperm or bailer you which they probably will against this card. Uh, so keep that in mind. Next up, we have the broke-ass Battle and Boxer Promoter. And uh, th this card's disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. Level 4 Fire, Warrior Effect Monster, 1700 attack, 800 defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters turn you activate this card's effects except Battle and Boxer Monsters. So if your opponent controls a monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. That's hot. You can tribute this card, special summon up to two Battle and Boxer Monsters with different names from your deck except Promoter. That is just disgusting. It's literally a fucking rescue cat. You can banish this card from your graveyard, increase or decrease the levels of all battle and boxer monsters you currently control by one so having the mod the level modulation is interesting because then like you if you get out two level fours you can make two rank fives or or make a rank five exceed or make a rank three exceed if you drop the levels and so this is definitely the card uh that is going to make or break battle and boxer our battle and boxer are going to be a tier one deck i don't know i really don't think even with this card they can get there um, but let's go through the rest of the support and maybe, maybe you'll, you'll change your mind. I, I don't think it's going to be that good though. A uh, number C79 battle and boxer commando Caesar or Kaiser, one of the two, uh, 2600 attack, 2000 offense to rank five fire warrior Xyz takes three level fives. It gains 200 attack for each material attached to it. So at most it'll gain 600. So that puts it at, uh, what, like 31, 3200 once per turn. If your opponent would special summon a monster monsters, quickie effect you can detach two materials from this card and if you do negate the summon and if you do destroy that monster or monsters they essentially gave battle and boxers and evil sword lagia which seems really disgusting honestly like that effect alone seems really good if this card is number 79 battle and boxer nova kaiser as a material it gains this effect once per turn, when an attack is declared evolving your battle and boxer monster and an opponent's monster, you can send one battle and boxer monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, attach that opponent's monster to this card as a material. I don't know what the fuck Nova Kaiser does. I know it's an old exceed that the deck once had. Um, sure, I don't think that effect's ever going to come up because battle effects really aren't a thing anymore unless its name is Kashira Fenrir. <laughs> so, battle and boxer King Dempsey. Rank 4 fire, war fire warrior exceeds effect monster 2300 attack, 1800 defense, 2 level 4 monsters. This shit's generic. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can take one level 4 or lower fire warrior monster or one battle and boxer spell or trap from your deck. Either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. Second effect, quick effect, you can detach one material from your Xyz monster, so it doesn't have to be itself. And if you do, your opponent cannot target battle and boxer monster. Do control what card effects this turn. That seems good, but I mean, it's only protecting from targeting, so like I can still 
book of eclipse your board i can dark ruler the shit out of you i can lightning storm the shit out of you i can evenly match the shit out of you uh, yeah whatever <laughs> this is a battle and boxer cross counter this is the new counter trap you only activate one card with this card's name per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect destroy one battle and boxer or number exceeds monster you control that's interesting and if you do negate the activation if you do that this if you do that that i can't talk today destroy that monster then you can special summon one battle and boxer exceeds monster from your extra deck with a different name from your destroyed monster and if you do attach this card to it as a material so at the lowest value possible it'll pop a battle and boxer and then you get to special summon any battle and boxer exceed. Um, so you can cheese out like the any of the battle and boxer exceeds as long as you don't like pop one that's already in exceed. So this counter trap is interesting, but it's only with activating a monster effect. And as far as I know, at least off the top of my head, battle and boxers have no fucking way of like having some sort of infernity barrier. So maybe they'll show off more support. And maybe they will get, like, some sort of Infernity Barrier card. But, I mean, Battle and Boxers is known for being, like, a, literally a battle-based deck. They're known for, like, battle phase shenanigans. And I don't really feel like Battle and Boxers should even be that anymore because they suck for a reason. Like, they have that one purple Battle and Boxer. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, that I think is, like, a Kalutha the Moon Shadow or an Honest or some shit. And that's not necessarily bad, but it's just the fact that, like, we've sort of moved past that. Like, the last time I ever used any sort of battle monster effects was when I played Trickstar and I was playing, like, two or three Honest. And, like, ever since then, I've never played, like, battle-related stuff. And before that, with Trickstar, I had played Cosmo with Jurigato. And that's because Jurigato was disgusting in the deck because you can make Dark Destroyer 4,000 attack. So, I feel like that they should have just focused on, like, the promoter type of monsters and just had them be able to be like a rank four or rank five, you know, exceeds spam deck to where like they could attack multiple times in the battle phase. But I don't know. I haven't read battle and boxer shit in years. Maybe there's something in the old support, whether it's glass jaw or whatever the hell that like makes this shit good. Um, like, I don't know, maybe battle and boxer spirits is good. I think that this is like a monster reborn. Maybe we'll see rekindling shenanigans cause they're all fire. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I truly don't know battle and boxers i don't even think from what i recall they weren't even a fucking thing when they first came out because they just sucked <laughs> like uh, harpies were better than battle and boxers back in the day and that's saying something because harpies were rogue as shit even with all of their like new support they were a rogue af deck so guys let me know what you think down in the comments below is there just something i'm missing i mean you gotta ask yourself, like, with the new decks that are coming out soon, like Mana Dome and Purely, is this deck gonna be able to keep up with that shit? No, like, probably not, even though I still have yet to learn Purely. I don't get how that deck is good other than X Pearly Noir and hoping that you open up enough fucking quick play spells. I don't know. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe someone, maybe someone will come up with, like, a 60-card pile and this deck will suddenly be bonkers. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.